Hi guys, and it is time to turn the spotlight onto one of you. We have Lihush here in his Lorraine 15551. It is an RT I have not played, so I am uh, interested to see how it performs. Uh, I haven't gone up the French RT line yet. I say yet because I have no intention of going up any RT lines. Lihush is here on Arctic, and uh, it is a tier 2. 10 game, he is in his tier 8 RT and is bottom tier. There are three enemy RT on the enemy team, only two on ours, so uh, let's see how Lihash gets on. So I'm going to be playing most of this at uh, times two speed, again because RT replays usually aren't that uh, exciting, but uh, Lihash is moving up the hill into a position I never use. I very rarely use this position, but uh, I might. I might start using it on the rare arty game I play. It uh, seems to have a good range of fire. So uh, Lihush is pre-aiming for uh, spots. Someone has gotten them spots, but uh, very nice shot into the T28 prototype. I'm surprised it didn't do a little bit more damage. Um, T28 prototype is an open top vehicle and usually Artie does a little bit more damage so he may have hit uh, track shot. So uh, unfortunately Artie replays are kind of broken in that the uh, aim line doesn't turn red when it should as it would as if you were playing live. So even though occasionally it looks as if he has a shot, he doesn't. So he's tracking the E75 here. Ooh, and another good shot into the E75 for uh, 553 damage. So this RT seems to have pretty good aim time, uh, fairly decent reload time, but um, doesn't seem to have a lot of alpha damage, and I believe that's the story with the French. Good aim time, good reload time, but uh, terrible alpha damage. So there are two tanks here. Alihash goes for a shot and uh, doesn't hit either because uh, we can see the shell impacting the ground, but he may have done some splash damage, who knows. So he's uh, moving backwards again, changing his uh, aim. He's looking for uh, enemy RT tracers now. Not seeing much. Now looking for enemy RT tracers is usually something I do between shots. While I'm waiting for the reload. But uh, he didn't have any other targets to hit, so uh, yep, it's fine to uh, aim. Now I'm surprised he hasn't gone for a shot before okay, now, but uh, he waited till it was fully aimed and uh, gets another good hit on the E75. Ooh, ISU-152. That is a good tank to hit. The RT will usually do a lot of damage against uh, TDs. But, uh, nope. So many targets, I think he's having difficulty choosing which one to hit. IS-3 has more hit points, but... Uh, okay, ISU is dead. Just leaves the IS-3. Now that E5 has gotten stuck. I didn't notice that the first time I was watching this replay, but the E5 went down after the... Uh, was it a T-44? And uh, now it is stuck in the hollow. Lai has spotted it, and he's telling the team that the E5 is stuck. Of course, it would help if I increase the map size here. So we know that there's an IS-3, a stuck E5, and a Yag Tiger north. But no one is spotting for uh, his team. Now, according to XVM, Lai has done... 1,521 damage already, but he goes for a blind shot on the, the E5, and it went in! There was no shell impact, no shell crater, so whatever he did with that shot, it definitely went in. E5 has now been spotted, 
So that was really, really good play by Lyhush. And Lyhush gets the kill for 49 damage. So again, XVM showing 1570 damage, but I'm sure he has done more than that. Okay, so he pre-aimed up to where the enemy targets were likely to appear, and they have. He's got a choice, IS-3 or the Waffen Tracker. Big hit into the Waffen Tracker. Again, I sense Lyhush has been a little bit indecisive, doesn't know which one to go for. Yag Tiger has been spotted, but he is uh, staying focused on the two tanks he knows are here. IS-3 is there, so he goes for the one with the more uh, hit points. And uh, gets a nice hit for uh, 363. Waffentrager is dead. So now he's got to readjust for the IS-3. IS-3 is dead. Okay, one enemy tank left. Lyhash is up to 1953 damage. Where is that uh, Yag Tiger? There it is. Lyhash reloads. Good pre aim. Hits the Yag Tiger and uh, gets a little bit of engine fire damage, but the Yag Tiger puts it out before dying. So, um, 2478 damage recorded in uh, XVM. So, how did he do with his blind shots? Well, as we can see, congratulations, Lyhush. It was your Lorraine 15551 Ace Tanker. You ended up getting the Ace Tanker badge, and you love how much I like getting my Ace Tankers. Uh, finished up with 68,640 credits and 3,362. So that was a times two. Uh, how did we do on the overall? Okay, overall, Lyhush finished first. Tier 8, Tier 10 game, he ended up getting 1,121 uh, XP and ended up doing 4,244 damage. So uh, nearly half a gain what was recorded during the game. So a lot of his blind shots must have gone in and did pretty high damage. So there we have it. Lyhush finished up with nine shots in that entire game, but eight of them were di were uh, direct hits and two were splash damage. Eight of the uh, eight direct hits were penetrations. 4,244. Very, very nice. Uh, he ended up getting another 950 uh, damage upon detecting. Well, that's actually enemies he tracked that were then subsequently hit, but uh, very nice. And... Uh, as we say, we finish up on 58,560 credits with 1,681 XP with a premium account times two, leaving with a very, very nice XP total, especially in an RT, 3,362. So, well played, Lyhash. The uh, Lorraine 15551 seems like a pretty good tank. Almost, and I say almost, enough to make me want to start grinding the French arty, but not quite. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.